Hello everyone. Assalamu alaikum. Here is Toki Nasir. As we have started the series on CSWIP 3.1 course which is related to welding inspector. Today we are going to start the chapter 1 typical duties of welding inspector. Remember welding inspector is the core responsible person for entire process of welding. If you consider uh, the critical welding like pressure vessels which have to bear the maximum pressure and if case of any welding negligence could cause a serious accident. So welding inspector is quite important job in the industry and the field. So by considering this importance, welding inspector has crucial role. Before starting the chapter 1, I would like to request you to subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon. Also like the hit button and share with your friends who can get benefit from this precious course. This is completely free of cost and it's just for your facilitations. So I am expecting the subscriptions from your end and your support and comments in the comments box. Okay. In this chapter, the first thing is main responsibilities of the WI welder inspector. Code compliance, the code which has to be compliance on the welding job. This is the first role of welding inspector. Workmanship control, the workers which are working for their specific job should be under the QC inspector. Uh, it's known as welding inspector workmanship and uh, work in workmanship actually machines data documentation everything is considered third one is documentation yes after that after the welding the welding reports and wps verification wqt verifications and during the welding before and after all these things he has to be documented because the welding job and the qc job is completely rely on the welding if case if in case any accident happen or something could occur if he has the approved documents and designs then he can simply show off and get the benefit from it this uh, we have faced in our duty uh, while something happen at our site and all the responsibility was on the shoulder of welding inspector but luckily and fortunately uh, in his record all things were approved from the third party and the client so we were on the safe end that's why documents controlling is quite important for the uh, by considering the ethics the honesty integrity knowledge and good communication skill etc so remember guys for welding inspector visual inspection is quite important for this visual inspection 17637 means iso ISO International Standard of Organization 17,637 code is normally considered and it's for visual inspection. Uh, please remember, I will highlight and point to point uh, give you information that these points are related to exam examination point of view, paper point of view. So all the things which I uh, let you know then you should have to note down on your paper on your book on your practice copy because these points will be correlate with the actual exams these will be quite helpful please remember so i request you again to watch entire video and don't miss it because if you want to clear exams then it's the best chance for you so if in exam uh, the question is which is the visual inspection code then you can simply tick 17637 17637 ISO code is VT it's also known as VT so the inspector should be familiar with the relevant code he should have the welding procedure knowledge and he should have the good VN skills means visually power this is very important and for that we recover he should have to check for 12 months every 12 months eyesight he should need to check up means 6 by 6 i the second point of view uh, examination point of view main question is how much the lux uh, the lightning power required for a good welder so 350 lux minimum illumination should be required that is almost equal to office lighting etc 
then uh, the welder should be able to see the welding from 600 millimeter far from the weld metal means this is our weld metal 60 600 millimeter that is almost more than half meter and at 30 degree in this condition the welder should be able to see properly the weld metal then his sight is okay vn is okay the next thing is if the axis is not in the naked eye then different tools normally used one is mirror borescope the second one is fiber optic viewing system this is actually with the help of tool and we have the mirror system convex mirror so you can see easily from the outside if you have no access the other aids normally uh, which the welding inspector get from aids means support of different things first is welding gauges I will let you know and elaborate the welding gauges in the next chapter. Uh, in welding gauges, we have different welding gauges like bevel angle to measure the bevel angle, weld profile, fillet sizing, undercut, etc. I will let you know all these terms in the next chapter in the welding and, uh, and definitions and terms, conditions, etc. So the next is you should have to familiar how to use the high low gauges. High low is normally linear misalignment. So, uh, this point is also important by considering examination point of view. Uh, the magnifying lens which he is using should be power to magnify the object two times to five times. Remember, two times to five times means x2 to f, x5, x means times. Then we have different measuring devices uh, which should be uh, WI welding inspector should be able to. Uh, operate means uh, he should know about the flexible tape rulers uh, temperature indicator welding gauges voltmeter ampere meter magnifying glass etc these are normal things you can see here we have uh, this is very important gauge that is known as multimeter gauge multi-purpose gauge in this gauge you can see here we have the welding joint I will uh, elaborate in the coming lecture but for your information only this is our welding joint this is the uh, throat thickness right our excessive metal throat thickness until now you can see here this this distance from the root is known as throat thickness entirely this one is the toe this one is the toe this is the root this is the side of the root and entire is the bevel we will uh, see further how to measure the uh, thickness, leg length and welding profiles with the multi-purpose gauge. Just remember uh, one point regarding the butt weld. If the toe is here, then here you can see we have gauge, entire gauge in millimeter and inch. Where, wherever the inch or millimeter matching, that's the actual uh, thickness of the throat. But I will let you know in detail in the next topics in the next lectures the next gauge is misalignment gauge you can see here we have the scale the screw which we can adjust further here's we have if part a i will let you know the welding terms in next chapter part a and part b if both part are misaligned means one leg is here one leg is here then this is the misalignment more or less uh, this is this almost equal point so we can say uh, from this point to this point this is the misalignment for before welding we should have to measure with the misalignment gauge the both parts should be in a line the next thing is multimeter multimeter is normally to measure the ampere volt current etc these two terms are also very important to get the quali quality welding in any process because we have the source we have the transformer rectifier inverter etc to measure all these volts and ampere meter we will use this one and normally uh, we have on the dial gauge or the digital uh, instrument uh, measuring as well so the next thing is when the uh, welding inspector should inspect the job please remember this is very important point a welding inspector should inspect the job before welding during welding and after welding uh, i saw a question in which he said that welding inspector should inspect the job during before after anywhere or all above so remember all these things so 
in briefly what is before welding before welding is actually before assembly and after assembly after that during welding and after welding before welding before welding uh, welding inspector should be familiar with the standards and codes okay drawings according to which drawing that uh, welding is being carried out so what are the tolerances how much the position which are the detail what is the symbols welding symbol so all these things he should have to know welding inspector quality control procedure how he should have to maintain the preheating post heating material handling documents control storage issues etc the third point is quality plan which is known as inspection and test plan itp ITP according to ITP all the check sheets given which uh, procedure they have to carry out for that welding etc all the information regard according to ITP the third is uh, before welding we have welding procedures which procedure he will adopt either uh, MIG, TIG uh, or MMA or uh, FK, FC, AW etc a lot of we have almost six procedure I will let you know in this next chapter so which procedure is recommended as per WPS WPS is very important before welding so welder qualification is also according to WPS or not if he is certified then he should have to accord valid card normally a valid card uh, is if a welder this is very also important question it's not mentioned here if a welder didn't do the continuous job for almost seven month seven month if he didn't perform the job then he should have to go for uh, retesting and requalification welder qualification seven month is remember this point the next is uh, if he change the job from one project to another then definitely he gets he wants to get the welder qualification then we have equipment which equipment he will use for the welding means safety requirements all inspection etc materials which materials he needs to get dimension and uh, overall things then he has to get the consumables or according to WPS or not weld preparation or welding joints according to drawing and WPS or not free from contamination contamination means dust oil particle water particle etc then welding equipment in good order and calibrated all these welding equipment should be calibrated these were the simple thing this is very important thing before welding he should check the fit up because remember one thing on the basis of fit up your welding quality can be achieved so fit up should be compliance with WPS number size tech welding code etc should also be according to our WPS so while welding procedure specification I am repeatedly asking this term you will let and get uh, once I will elaborate in future so the fit up is very important then next is preheating some material require the preheating before starting the welding like uh, they need to maintain 350 degrees Celsius temperature for uh, some time if once the temperature got preheated then welding inspector should check with the temperature gun and he marked ok then the welder can start the welding this preheating normally after the uh, uh, tag weld or even before the tag welding minimum temperature so one of, uh, what he has to know are check during welding weather conditions there is no rain there is no humidity we have normally humidity factor more or less 80 percent if, if it's more humidity then he should have to cover the welding if there is rain they should have to stop if there is moisture etc welding process according to as i mentioned before either it's mma fca wsma wgta wgma etc so welder uh, what he needs to get the check of welder is approved welder is working preheating is okay maximum temperature minimum temperature interpass temperature is also fine interpass temperature is actually we normally do the welding in different runs or passes like one two three four so this is the uh, root bead this is the top bead for that we have this interpass intermediate bead so here we have to maintain the intermediate temperature as well that's why interpass 
next are welding consumables which consumables are being used means any gas so how much the gas quantity how much the electrode uh, which electrode will be carried out according to WPS and material all these things issuance handling etc he has to maintain welding parameters current voltage travel speed because all these things depends on the welding quality so he should have to check welding inspector its job of basic job responsibility root runs how much the root if possible visually inspect the single side welding after filter means if uh, first run com completed then welder should have to check the run pass as well during welding into you run decreasing and gouging uh, i will explain the gouging term gouging is also very important if we have a joint uh, which thickness is more than 25 more or less then we normally prepared a joint double v right i will uh, explain you in uh, next video next chapter double v so according to thickness almost two third v is at first side first side one third one by third is at second side so when we start the welding here you can see the root pass first root pass then slag and penetration in the next v so what we normally do we normally do the welding again from this side and here we first before the welding we normally did the gouging gouging is a uh, pressurized air compressed air with flames so it completely a uh, take it out the slags and then we grind after grinding then we further proceed in this is normally known as coaching distortion is there any shrinkage expansion etc welding or balance and over welding quite it so after welding what he has to inspect weld identification all the welders should be identified and uh, visual inspection he has to check the v that's the first part of NDT non-destructive testing VT he had to know uh, either there is no spatters, uh, no uh, cracks, uh, and uh, no burnouts, etc. All the PT by considering the codes and standards. Then he had to document that part. This part is visually okay and according to drawing, the, now it's okay for the entity. Then they should have to send the uh, part for entity after welding he had to also get the repairs if in case in NDT there is some repair occurred means in UT or RT some repairs highlighted then he had he had to uh, maintain the repair procedure repair procedure we have also standard and post weld heat treatment process normally do means welding already done now the job has been cooled down of before starting the uh, repair works because after repairing before repairing we again need to weld so before welding we need actually post weld heat treatment the job should be at warm temperature monitor compliance with procedure check chart etc pressure and load test if there is any related to pressure and load test then check the last thing is uh, <coughs> documentation he has to perform the documents all the uh, welding job has done as per the as built drawing ensure all required documents are available means drawings WPS welder qualification ID card welder identification card and collect final documents with the uh, collect final documents with the manufacturing records sign all documents and forward it to QC all the documents he has to finalize and QC department he had to de deliver resume check all documents consumables dimensions setup etc these are not very important by considering the uh, question, uh, final exam so that's why I'm going to give you overview welding inspector must be observed this is the summary good observer keen observer he should have to record keeping he, he should have to compare all these things means compare all recorded information with acceptance criteria what is the actual what the standard is being mentioned then he should have to compare and decide the weld is uh, acceptable or not these are all related to welding inspector i hope you like my video if you like my video then please subscribe my channel and hit the uh, bell icon 
एंड लाइक बटन एज वेल ऑल्सो शेयर विद योर फ्रेंड्स इट मे बी हेल्पफुल फॉर अदर्स थैंक यू